Wednesdays is sponsored by Donna Kay's Cafe. All right, so it's Weather Wednesday, a time when Kevin and I get to talk about the weather a little more in depth together. And of course, everybody's talking about Hurricane Milton. And people have been asking me for storm surge, is that just one tsunami? And it's not. So we really wanted to take a closer look at storm surge itself and why Milton is so historic. Yeah, and that's because uh, this is a massive storm. We haven't seen something like this in a very long time, especially for the Tampa area since the early 20s. So let's show you a live picture right now as the storm gets closer and closer. And the time frame of this making land Landfall has uh, basically been pushed upwards a little bit. Uh, we were thinking overnight, maybe as early as 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern time. 78 degrees on the temperature right now, and you can see the surf and the clouds and rain have already really started to pick up. Here's uh, Doppler radar, and you can see in the Florida, we've seen tropical tornadoes already develop. So basically, we're getting energy from this tropical storm. Those are turning into tornadoes, and a lot of places in Florida have uh, spotted these funnel clouds. Uh, throughout the day. You can see that little circle out to the west. That's the eye of the storm, and that's why I think it's probably going to make its way a little more inland, maybe around 5 o'clock our time. Again, this is all fluctuating, but we want to talk about uh, the Saffir Simpson scale because uh, right now it is a Category 4. We do expect this storm to be a Category 3 as it makes its way into the Tampa area and just south. That means winds are going to be about 111 to about 130 miles per hour with a storm surge of 9 to 12 feet. So we were initially thinking early this morning that this storm would be a category four as it made its way inland around the Tampa area. That would put wind speeds at 131 to 155 miles per hour with that 13 to 18 foot storm surge. Because we backed it up to a category three, the storm surge maybe not as bad, but still catastrophic for the area. And we could only be glad that this is not materialing into a category five. Now, as we were talking about the storm surge, how does this all happen? Uh, so normally you have the sea level, then you have the ocean surge. So think out in the Atlantic, you have all, or in the Gulf, you have all of this wind taking place and with all of that wind it is pushing that water towards the shore so with that you start to see these sea the sea start to rise mm -hmm. yeah the storm is pushing that water closer and closer to the coastline and then it comes on shore as these large waves when we talk about six feet eight feet 12, 10 feet of this storm surge you see how it takes over the houses along the coast and one of the reasons that we're so concerned about hurricane Milton's storm surge is because of the topography of Florida's western coastline. Along the Gulf of Mexico there, it's a very low continental shelf, meaning that there is not much room for the water to go back out to sea. It's technically shallow, and so all of that water keeps getting pushed on. Take a look at the video that this area just saw two weeks ago from Hurricane Helene. So we had all of the damage from Hurricane Helene and all of the catastrophic flooding. Then over the last two weeks, everybody has been clearing out their damaged houses. Now take a look at this next video that we have debris still piling the streets, even though they've been working overtime to try and clear it, there is still so much left. So now with Milton's storm surge coming on shore later today into overnight and tomorrow, all of this debris, Kevin, could become projectiles. Yeah, and there is gonna be a lot of rain with this and we will see the coastal flooding and more tornadic activity as we go throughout the day. So again, Candy Cassidy, while the very latest tonight at five uh, on Milton, Milton, but uh, hopefully everybody was listening to all those watches and warnings and everybody got out. Everybody got out. It's yeah. been hard to get that evacuation going. Our next star team of meteorologists is also updating our website, kgt.com, and Kevin and I will be following the storm throughout the day as well. But